onto the radio waves. In the past seven years, two other types of DJ have come onto the scene, the spinner and the scratcher. Now back in 86, Upper Hutt Posse were one of the first hip-hop acts in New Zealand to include a DJ in their lineup, DJ DLT. We spoke to DLT about what the scene was like back then and to new kid on the block, Rob Salmon, we asked what the buzz is now. The first music I made as a, a hip-hop DJ was the Upper Hutt Posse. And we uh, recorded a record in 1987 for the Just Juice grant, and that was called Air 2. And that sort of was, because we made that song, we knew that we had what it took to write conscious hip-hop music. So we never gave up, and no one could tell us any different. The best stuff we liked sampling was um, uh, Tila Rock, you know, was, was scratching stuff like that and uh, the classic B-side wins again. You know, every good DJ will scratch that, never dates. And a lot of reggae music, reggae bass lines. Uh, didn't have reggae, reggae drum patterns because that wasn't really hip hop in those days. Reggae muffin wasn't even invented when we wanted to do it, you know? We sort of got a radio play or TV play with a song called Do It Like This, which the only reason why it got played was because it had a, a sample that everyone knew, you know, it was so obvious. And that was um, Casey and the Sunshine Band. Yeah, Boogie Shoes, I think it's called, is that it? I don't, I don't even know the name of the song, honestly. Once you become hooked on consciousness, doesn't matter what it is, you don't, you know, you shouldn't leave it. So uh, we find the pop is not the devil of our music or nothing, it's nothing nasty, but we just have no time for it. Uh, musically, I'm involved with a hip hop group called Leaders of Style. And that's sort of my um, hip-hop side of DJing like. I'm a club DJ, I play clubs and I play people to dance. And I'm a hip-hop DJ like a scratch DJ or the rap group. I'm DJing at the box now in high school. I've been DJing there for about two years. If you're DJing in a club, you've got to play to see everyone. There are all sorts of people. People listen to rap, people listen to soul, people listen to house, people listen to techno, people listen to trance with all these other types of music and you've got to blend it all together through the night. I'm into songs that are different, um, different sounds, you know, songs aren't necessarily songs the way they used to be, they don't have to be a, like a verse chorus, verse chorus anymore, they can just be like a beat and some keyboards and that's it, that can be a song. It doesn't have to have a you know, mass chorus where the girl sings and you know, the guy raps in the middle. You know, I try to just throw in new stuff that I know I won't get away with, I'll just go, Bitch, this one's not going to work. And I play it and it usually does. I think the music that is being played in the clubs by the so-called um, tastemaker DJs when they do get any work um, is, is generally really good because um, being here at Baseline we can get a title in from the UK or the States in about a week and a half. And so we're right up with what's being played overseas at the time. We do a lot of organising, things like the brain, a lot of one night parties here and there. I feel good when at the end of the night people up to me and go, people come up to me and go, that was a really good night, you know, I really enjoyed the music or you know that song you played with the sort of the mm -hmm. that was really good, really enjoyed that one. Things like that make me feel really good about DJing. Posse, posse days, I've left the posse now. I have a band called the Damn Natives, but it was all uh, acoustic instruments and we play a blend of funk, rock and hip hop with raps, and scratching, funky beats, you know. We even make our own loops, play live loops. <laughs> What I'm doing now is 
what I plan to do from day one, and that is produce hip hop and dance and reggae and good music.